Today we are filming Vizcaya Museum and Gardens in Miami, Florida, which is a 180 acre estate that's built in the style of the Italian Renaissance and Baroque by this guy named James Deering. He built the estate between 1914 and 1916 based off his travels through Italy and Spain. And so today we're gonna be showing you some really cool stuff. Yeah, and right as soon as you like pull into the parking lot, the place is absolutely stunning. And then you walk down as like a courtyard. Yeah. I'm excited. I feel today. like I'm walking through Italy in Miami. Yeah, and right. you feel the ocean breeze because it's right on the water. Uh, let's show you around. It is immediately evident that this guy loved his time in Europe because it literally reminds me of when we studied abroad in Florence. There's lots of marble statues everywhere, giant columns, a huge skylight and courtyards, and there's tons of plants. Like you can tell that this guy really loved to be in the outdoors because there's very little distinction between what's outside and what's inside. And then what's inside is his giant collection of European artifacts because he would go on shopping sprees through Europe and collect furniture from all of the countries around. This is apparently the reception room and the ceiling in here is one of three in the entire estate that was purchased by James Deering from somewhere abroad. And he designed the room to fit the ceiling. How neat is that? So my dog, James Deering over there, the old owner of the estate, used to actually really be into boating. As a matter of fact, when you're walking in, you can see his two giant, like, solid silver trophies from, like, the Miami regatta that he won. But apparently, there was a hurricane that went through here in 1926 that really did some damage to the sky, and he also had a boathouse. So much so that the boathouse ended up being destroyed and got demolished, and it's one of the sky's lost places. And also, when he passed away in the 20s, he ended up donating parts of his estate, or rather his descendants were donating parts of the estate to different places in Miami and eventually gave it to Miami-Dade County, a huge part of the estate, which is why it became a museum in 1956. But all thanks to that guy, who was really, really rich. And I wish that I was his descendants because I would not have let go of this man. and now we're walking into the dining room where I really should have been invited to so that I could wear a big fancy ball gown and eat in really fancy dinner plates. I was actually just telling Annette how I wish that like when walking through a lot of these rooms we could just hit a play button and see what the walls saw back in the day when like events used to be held here and all sorts of craziness. I also feel like there should be like surround sound speakers playing some like really dramatic classical music like <laughs> And now we are entering the spiral staircase that takes you into Narnia. We have made it to the second level of Fiskaya and goodness gracious. So up here, it really just looks like a hallway that's lining the top area. And they have like different rooms that they would use off to the side. But when you're up here, you get an incredible view of the actual courtyard space that's down below. And I don't think we mentioned it before, but if you guys actually look up at the ceiling, you'll see that there's this massive glass ceiling that lets in a ton of natural light. And so they're able to actually have like real outside plants but inside it's absolutely stunning interestingly the room behind me is the owner's room james deary and it's designed in empire style like after napoleon 
but it's not as big as I imagined it would be. Like if I had a like a place like this for me, I feel like my bedroom would be the largest room, but it's not. And his room is pretty small. It's like a full size bed, maybe a little smaller. Guys, this dude was really into fireplaces. Right. I'm into that. <laughs> and two, I can totally live here. Like this should just be my house. I'm gonna contact Miami Dade and be like, I'm really the princess now. <laughs> We're and just gonna buy it off of you with the I, zero money that we have. Absolutely. We'll take care of it. I'll cl I'm, I mean, I wouldn't clean this. I would pay someone to clean this, but <laughs> it's gorgeous. Right? I and want it. <laughs> something that's honestly kind of been a little nerve wracking while walking through is that everything is so beautiful and like old school. Time to get sunny on. Yeah. It's like so beautiful and old school that you're legitimately afraid of bumping into things. Yeah, and it's all like ancient artifacts from Europe. Yeah. Now, on that note, you saw how gorgeous it was a second ago? Daniel, follow me. No big deal. Just the ocean. I wonder how deep this is. Also, it kind of smells like rusty, musty ocean, but I still kind of want to jump in. Also, we learned that this structure back here that was called the barge, it was built to protect the state from waves, which didn't help it much in the 1926 hurricane. However, you used to have to get there by boat, by like a little rowboat, and you had like a gazebo to entertain guests. However, I'm not quite sure why he didn't just build a bridge to it. Would that have been too dramatic? But it kind of looks like he's into that. I'm kind of into that, to be honest. Really sunny day out today, y'all. It's like noon. I'm really grateful that we're here on a Monday during the springtime where it's like still not hot. Yeah. I cannot imagine people coming here in the summer. Yeah. You would melt. And apparently it's typically a whole lot busier than it is right now, even on a weekday. We were talking to the guy at the front and he was saying how this is like dead in comparison to how it gets. Which is crazy because I got <laughs> here and I'm like, Daniel, there's too much people. That is the most colorful lizard I think I've ever seen. It looks like a chameleon and a bearded dragon had a baby and made this massive colorful lizard. I'm gonna go touch it. Hi, little lizard, lizard, lizard. Oh, love me! This place is stunning. Right now, we are just off the side of the lily pond. It's almost like a trellis in this gazebo. Super romantic. I can see why people get married here and why people choose to do all of like their special events pictures here. It's because this place is picture perfect, literally. Hello! Miss me? Gardens are enormous. They actually have this gorgeous courtyard that overlooks like another, not ocean, but almost like swampy mangrove area. And it has this gorgeous view of the estates. And you can see where they like really valued symmetry in the design of it because the gardens cut straight through the middle of the main house. Also, for those of you guys who have been enjoying our channel, we have a Patreon page where if you guys wanna know how much it's costing us to travel around the world full time, and you want to be part of our private Facebook group where every month we do a live stream where you guys can ask us your questions. Please click the link down below or the link up here uh, so you become one of our patrons. It's a really fun community and we would love for you to be a part of that. And subscribe! I can get used to this. Daniel?